<laughs> Hi, I'm your host, Oraldo, for It's Tejano Time, and you're watching Tejano Talk. Uh, well, we're supposed to have Beto today, and uh, again, Nemo's not here today. Uh, he, I just got a text from, uh, from Nemo saying he just got a flat tire and, and the tow truck was just there. Uh, so he may come in later, and Bino G... He's our guest tonight. He said he was going to be, uh, he's still driving to San Antonio and he's got to haul stuff back and forth from warehouses, I guess. I don't know, but he may come in. And so uh, I did a Hail Mary pass to TDK, sent him a link, and he says, uh, he's in the shower. So I don't know. Uh, but we're going to, uh, this is supposed to be the fanfare show, and uh, hopefully Bino G is uh, watching, and say, and uh, and Nemo is watching, and as soon as they can, they'll jump on, and then I'll have to do my producer magic. But uh, I just wanted to hopefully people come in and save me. But I was gonna, I'll talk. Whoops, I'll talk about a few things. I don't know if you noticed, but my mic has something special on it, and I have. It's Tejano Time stickers, and I bought a, I got a thousand of them made, so I'm gonna be passing them out at Fanfare this week. And for those who don't know, it's at Hemisphere Park. I think they call it the Spindle Top in San Antonio. I'm not quite sure, but uh, I was gonna, you know, I always do my research, so I was gonna ask Bino G about some stuff. But uh, hopefully, some people will hop on. But uh, let's go over Fanfare. All right, it's uh, in San Antonio. It's going to start this. Uh, I'll be leaving uh, tomorrow, and I'm still packing. And so uh, uh, I washed all my shirts and stuff. I got got a few made. Got a couple caps. And no, I'm not. I don't sell merch, but uh, I'll get. And if anybody asks me, hey, say it's always Tahano time. I'll definitely give them a sticker. All right, and then you could wear them throughout the uh, the event. And uh, and say hi, because uh, I would love to meet y'all. All right. So we are going to talk about I know Lawrence and I, we talked about it a, co a couple of weeks ago uh, about uh, fanfare. But Lawrence did a lot of the talking. I, I didn't. And uh, I'm grateful he did because he's got way more knowledge than I do. But um, I was going to ask Bino and hopefully Bino comes on online uh, soon. He's going to. Actually, be on his cell phone. Nemo might show up on his cell phone also. Uh, I gave him both the links. And uh, Bino, if you're watching and you don't know where to click, I emailed you the link and I texted you the link. And Nemo, I texted you the link to your cell phone. All right. So Thursday, March 14th, uh, that's actually media day also for the radio gala. And so uh, I'll be missing some of this. But one of the things... Uh, I was going to ask uh, Bino, is there's a WTC waiting to confirm? And I see on the Civics Park on Thursday from 10 to 11 p.m. Uh, is empty. And so I'm guessing it's going to be Isabel Marie because I haven't, I think she's performing on a uh, fanfare, but I don't see her, or maybe I'm blind. I don't know. Uh, I don't see her on the list. So I'm guessing it's going to be at the Civic park uh, stage or the Mexican stage and something that I'm looking forward to on Thursday when I saw his name on there I I was going what uh, Joel Nava well Nava I, for some people I don't know uh, is gonna be there and I was going wow I haven't heard I haven't heard or seen him for years back in the 90s I saw him uh, Perform. And I actually had him on the show on It's Tejano Time, uh, the YouTube channel. So if you scroll down, I think you might be able to see him on there. It's a short little interview, but uh, I would love to get his information and get him a guest on uh, uh, Tejano Talk. And hopefully everybody out there uh, feels the same way. So let me see. Uh, on Thursday, I'm looking for uh, Gabrielle Martinez is going to be there. Uh, She's going to be a future guest on our show. And for those that don't know, I finally landed Gary Hobbs. And so he's going to be here in April. Hey, we got a viewer. Hey, Albert. 
Long time no see. It says, watch the news if it's going to rain on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If Fad Ferretano is it's going to be, it's if it is going to be canceled or not. No, it's not going to be canceled because I've already booked four day, four nights at a hotel. So, uh, you know, it's Texas. Uh, thanks, uh, <laughs> Albert, for <laughs> reminding me about that. Hey, Albert, did you know we got stickers? Hopefully, I'll see you at uh, Fanfare and just say it's always to Huddle Time, and I'll turn around and I'll definitely give you a sticker. All right, and I'll shake your hand because I've always wanted to meet you. All right. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna rain a lot, but it shouldn't stop y'all from showing up. It's not stopping me. I'm coming all the way from Dallas. You know, Texas, it weather changes every 20 minutes. So, um, let's see. Uh, oh, TDK, you don't need no co hosts or guests. You're enough entertainment for all of us. I still want you as a guest, TDK, but if you don't want to come on, that's okay. You know, you can interject. Uh, I'm assuming TDK is going to be there. Okay. Hey, Albert, you are in San Antonio. You live there. Okay, great. So I'll see you out there at Fanfare. Uh, let's see. What is this? The show is about uh, you. <laughs> That's true. It is all about me. I Well, so you want to know what I've been doing all week? I Well, I just got back from uh, New Orleans. I had a math conference. Uh, uh, it was all right. You know how, you know, uh, I don't know how fun can math be, but I got to see a lot of my math colleagues through, uh, from coast to coast, and so that was fun. And uh, got back on Saturday, and I just didn't do anything on Sunday, just chilled and caught up on my rest. And uh, and I've been doing laundry, preparing for all this. And while I was gone, I got these stickers. Okay, got a thousand of them. Uh, thanks for reminding me, TDK, that it is the Buddy Show. <laughs> all right. Uh, Albert, just watch the radar uh, weather, and it's going to rain. I know it's going to rain, but hopefully, it's you know it's going to go off and on. So I plan to be out there. Uh, just bring an umbrella. I'm bringing two, you know, and a, a, a bought a rain coat, poncho, whatever like that, jacket. So I'm going to be prepared for the event, and hopefully, everybody else will. All right, and uh, let's see. What else we got here? So Thursday, let's see. Destiny is going to perform, and uh, Destiny's Nevada and Asalto. Those are a couple of people that I wanted to see perform. Uh, let's see. And there's a few other people. Hopefully, I'll see a lot of these people at the radio gala uh, on Thursday. And uh, by the way, Pete Acedillo might be at the radio gala. And, uh, and well, unfortunately, it's it's not it's not open to the public for everybody to go there but uh if you want to talk to pete he's going to be on bumper show tomorrow from what i uh, i saw on facebook so bumper uh actually i thought bumper was going to be out of town i think he so uh maybe i'll i'll drop by because i'm going there wednesday uh to fanfare uh to just check it out and see with the grounds and stuff like that hopefully y'all see me out there and uh, hey, DDK, is rain going to stop you from going to fanfare? I doubt it. You could dance in the rain, right? Who's that guy dancing in the rain? Was it Fred Astaire? I don't know. I can't remember. All right, uh, let's see. Who else is performing f Thursday that that I'm familiar with? You know me. I've been out it for 20 years, so a lot of these people I don't know. But if you want to, you need to uh-oh, Nemo just just texted me and said, doesn't look good. So I don't think Nemo's showing up. All right. Oh, by the way, let me take care of some business here. Wait, let's look at the layers. Okay. Uh, if, Oops, let's see if I can do this. Subscribe to uh, our channel. We don't get paid. And, uh, and I'm trying to do the best I can for everybody and try to get... Get a bunch of artists as well. Last week we had uh, Dee and Delia. I, I really like that show. I've been wanting to talk to Delia and embarrass myself a lot. So, uh, so subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody. Hopefully, a thousand of these stickers will get our viewership up. I think we actually, I remember Dee the first time he was on the show, 
we lost viewers, but it wasn't just D. Uh, but uh, D did talk a lot, and he continues to talk a lot. But you know, we all love him. Uh, but uh, we actually got five new subscribers last week from so D. I don't know if it's D and Delia or just Delia that got us the subscribers. All right, so uh, oops, let's see. If you want to uh, contact us, oops, contact us, you can contact me at it's Tahano time at gmail.com. All right. It, you can also use buddy at it's Tahano time dot com, but this is the one I prefer now. So uh, hopefully uh, y'all could, uh, whoops, get there. Okay. So, uh, whoops, let's see the comments here. Uh, Let's see, TDK, what time will you be at the radio? Go? I'm going as part of, <laughs> of the buddy show. I don't know. I'm going with Lawrence, and I think it starts at 5 p.m. So, unfortunately, I'm probably going to miss a lot of things that are going on Thursday. But uh, by here, it's till midnight. I'm not going to be there till midnight. That's for sure. Uh, let's see. I thought Nemo was going to get fired after last week's show. Uh, I don't know. You know what? I do have to have a talk with Nemo. I am getting tired of him saying, uh, what, stalker or creepy or pervy or whatever he says like that. I'm getting kind of tired of that, but I know that's a shtick he likes to say about me, but I'm okay. Uh, I prefer having Nemo sometimes here than not at all. All right. So uh, let's see what else we got going on. So that was Thursday. Friday is actually the day that I'm looking forward to. All right. And uh, let's see. I am probably going to hang out at the Civic Park uh, stage mostly. But it's going to be hard because I would like to go to several stages. But let's see. I know Ledez. Ledez is going to probably be on the show. I've contacted them before. And uh, we just had to coordinate our schedules. Uh, Lucky Joe is going to be, well, Ladez is going to be performing at 7.40 to 8.20 uh, at the Civic Park. And Lucky Joe is going to perform afterwards at 9.40, um, till, from 8.40 to 9.20. And then after that, it's going to be super packed because Signal and Jennifer Pena are going to be performing there. All right. Hey, hey, uh, Luis. Okay. What's up? What's up is uh, Nemo's not here, and uh, Bino G is our guest, and he's still driving. I told him uh, if he can, pull over. He could do it on his cell phone, and uh, hopefully he'll be coming on. But we're going to try to do our best to give everybody the, the scoop on uh, Fanfare this week, okay? Even if it's raining, everybody should go out there and support it. And uh, bring an umbrella, bring a poncho. Uh, and just enjoy the day. This is the first time it's at Hemisphere Park, from my understanding, all right? And uh, I don't know if it's going to stay there, or maybe, I don't know. Uh, I'm looking forward to checking it out. I was going to get a hotel room off the river walk, but I saw it was like $400 a night, and I said, I don't think so. So, but I think uh, Red Roof is one of the sponsors, or the uh, Fanfare TMA, have gotten, uh, and I think Hilton's also uh, uh, a sponsor, or they've got good deals for those people that haven't booked their hotels yet. All right, uh, let's see what else is there. Uh, what time will you be? Okay, I already said that. Uh, I thought Nemo was going to get fired. Oh, yeah, I already read those. Sorry about that. Uh, Luis, it says, how's the a new, how's new single release by Jennifer Pena? <coughs> I don't know how it's going, but I liked what I heard. So, and I'm looking forward to seeing them. And hopefully, I can finagle an interview with them on a future Tahano Talk uh, uh, show. All right. Uh, I'm guessing I would love to have them a couple weeks before <coughs> before Vegas Tahano. Oops, I need a drink. Get my Aggie drink. You know what? Since I got these stickers, I probably should put one on my, uh, whoops, I don't know how to open these things up. I probably want to put one on my uh, canister, whoops. 
Okay. Well, I got a real good price on these. Okay, wait. Let me see. The sticker part is kind of... Oh, there it goes. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. You know it's the buddy show, so you just got to wait for me. Let's see, I got to put it directly behind this. Okay, and there we go. And I'm still looking to see if Bina's showing up. So now I've got the... Uh, it's the Hunter Time canister. Oh, rats. Wait, can I do it this way? Now I've got to... Oh. Oh no, I don't want to cover up my Aggie, uh, my Aggie symbol right over there. Okay, let's see who else. What's we got? Uh, uh, Louise said um, that was so cool, especially when Jennifer and Pena and the group Signal were together on their new song. Yes, uh, they're on tour together, so they're doing pretty good. Hey, Mark. Let's see. Make sure you save me a sticker. Uh, all right, I'll save you this one. Put in my back pocket. All right. <coughs> mm, sorry. Um, you know what? I need to get. I last time I was at Fanfare, uh, Lawrence and I went to Bumper's uh, house, and I forgot to pick up one of his stickers. So uh, I got Bumper a uh, a T-shirt. I'm also gonna give him one of my stickers when next time I see him, or maybe I could go by his house and just drop it off. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Let's see, Luis. Uh, also, I would love to see the interview. Uh, yeah, me too. I'm hoping I can get them. Um, let's see. Wow, Oraldo, nice Tahano time canister. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. It's uh, it's the first. Okay. Whoops. I got it's too shiny. All right. It's Tahano time, and I I'll have a. Uh, whoops. I won't tell you who I gave a t who I'm giving t-shirts to. There's a few people that I'm giving t-shirts to. Bumper's one of them. Uh, let's see. Send the link to Mark. Uh, oh, no. I, I think I, I'm starting to get into it right now. So, but uh, let's see. Maybe later I might send it. Okay. It might be a short show. I don't know. Uh, if you guys uh, keep asking me questions, it, it gets longer, which I, I'm cool with. But uh, let's go Friday. Friday, I told you it was lucky. That was. Uh, so, Ledez, Lucky Joe, Signo, and Jennifer Pena. Uh, Joanna Ray is another one. Uh, she's going to be performing on this civic uh, stage from 2.40 to 3.20. I'm looking forward to seeing her perform again. Uh, Ibarra Boys are going to be at 5.40. Let's see. Uh, on the Tower of Reach, uh, Gabriela Salazar from New Mexico is going to be there. Angelica, she, I'm hoping to have her again on the show this summer. Uh, let's see. A Angelica y Grupo Moneda. Hopefully I've been saying this uh, this time correctly. Oh, man. Art Tejerina is going to be at the Tower of Reach, too. Same time Ledez is performing. And then at 940, uh, Lucky Joe and Sunny Salceda are going to be performing at the same time. And the crazy pimps. Sorry, the crazy pimps. Uh, I I have no problem going to see Signo and Jennifer. I, I did enjoy the crazy pimps last year at Vegas Tejano. Uh, did y'all know I was at Vegas Tejano last year? Hopefully everybody's going to go to Vegas Tejano this year because it's the 20th anniversary. All right. Uh, TDK, you going to go? I know you. I don't know if I've seen you at the Vegas Tejano past two, two or three. I think this will be my third one. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see it. The other stages. <gasps> Holy crap. The Mexican stage. Man, at 640 on the Mexican stage, Ray Ray's going to be there. 740 is Di Marie. Di Marie uh, sings with uh, uh, the Iconics. I guess she's branching out or doing her a solo performance right now. And uh, J.R. Gomez is going to perform... At 940 on the Mexican stage. Oh, man. And Oh, and Eddie Gonzalez is going to be forming at, at 1040. Hey, wait a second. Art took over Eddie's uh, lead singing for Grupo Vida back in the day, which is now Sunny Salceda, right? Uh, wow. Oh, man. 
Let's see. Uh, Madison's going up against uh, Ray Ray uh, at the Magic Theater. Laura Linda, a local uh, uh, here in the DFW. She, Louder Linda is going to be here. Uh, uh, oh, the Cojunto Cats. I haven't seen Cojunto Cats in a couple of years. So, man, hopefully I'll have, uh, I think his name is Zeke. The, he's the accordion player. Uh, I would love to have him or, or his whole group over there. His, I think his dad is the leader of the group. Wow. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, <laughs> drink, drink, drink. Oh, yeah, we got a drinking game. So uh, I, I'm sure Mart is already sloshed by now. All right. Let's see. Mart says, what about your plans for after fanfare, buddy? So many events going on every night during fanfare. I know. I don't know what's up with San Antonio. Back back in the day in DFW, the people put on festivals, we used to talk to each other so we wouldn't have to compete with each other. Like, we wouldn't have, like, two or three festivals going on in Fort Worth and two or three festivals going on in, in Dallas at the same time. We'd, like, alternate. Uh, like, the Boys and Girls Club used to do... Uh, uh, Cinco de Mayo, and then uh, in Fort Worth, and I used to help with that. And then uh, the Arts Festival was the week before Fanfare. I mean, before Cinco de Mayo, <coughs> Cinco de Mayo, and there would be some Tahoe out there also. So, but uh, you know what? I don't understand because I think the Market Square is also having Tahoe there. So uh, I don't know what's going on. Why? Did it get so big that they had to move it to Hemisphere Park? That's a question uh, I would like to ask Bino. If uh, Bino could get on like that, I'm still waiting for you. Uh, let's see. So that's Friday. Uh, I don't know who's performing at the other locations. Uh, let's see. I cannot remember where the media gala is located, but I know it's like a uh, like a flea market area in San Antonio or a swap meet area. I can't remember. But uh, I think there's an event going on the same w this weekend also. <clears throat> All right. So that's Friday. Let's see Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Oh, man. Okay. It's not going to, oh, man. It's not going to be that hard for me to decide where I'm going to go on Friday. I mean, on Saturday, because, uh, uh, the Iconics are performing at 840. You know, my girl Stephanie, she's performing at 940. And then to end it on that stage is going to be Gary Hobbs. I'm looking forward to that. So, man, the Tower of Reach. Ricardo Castellon is going to be performing. Oh, man. He, they were actually my favorite band uh, back at, well, I had several. Yeah, La Tropa F, it's got a place in my heart. Uh, but Ricardo, I, I love La Diffidencia's uh, album back back in the 90s. was awesome. Uh, let's see. La Calma's going to be there. Los Chamacos are going to be at the Tower of Reach. Oh, well, sorry, Los Chamacos. I'm going to go see Stephanie at the same time. You're, you're on stage. So uh, let's see who's a – oh, wow. Mexican stage. Uh, uh, Royal Martinez is going to be on at 940. Oh, man, the Texas Latino is going to be at 1040. Wow. That's going to be tough. But the one thing for sure I know I'm going to be there for C. Stephanie. Uh, Mark says, uh, Mi Mercado. Okay. As for the media, I think they're also going to have a, uh, a festival there, too. And I think the VA hospital, uh, not, not the VA hospital, but the, the VA is going to also do a uh, festival. I think that's at the end of near the Riverwalk. So that I think that's close to uh, Hemisphere Park. I don't know. I don't know San Antonio as, as well as a lot of other people. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Okay. Those are the ones I see. And there's a lot of people. Chrissy E was on the show, and she's going to perform in the Mexican stage on Saturday at uh, 1220. You know what? I thought I saw Madison Polito. Was Madison playing? I think she was playing on fri Friday. Let me go back. Madison. Madison, Madison. 
Yeah, Madison's going to be at the Magic Theater on Friday, this Friday, at 640. And she's playing up against Ray Ray. Okay. And uh, I don't know if I said this, but I think Isabel Marie might be performing on Thursday, headlining the headlining that stage. But I'm not sure because I, I thought, uh, for those people who didn't watch Lawrence's show last night, uh, you know, it's a Q, QO podcast on YouTube and on Facebook, I think, also. I only watch YouTube. Um, uh, Isabel Marie was on there, and she is a cutie. And uh, I love seeing her perform, and uh, she's got a great voice. So I'm looking forward to seeing her. Oh, man, that's during the media gala. She's on Thursday. I don't know. I have seen her perform the past two years, so. God, I don't want to miss it again. I mean, I don't want to miss it. I do like her performances. Let's see. What else do we got here? That We did Saturday. I think we did Saturday, right? Uh, Texas Latino. Yep, Royal Martinez. Unfortunately, Sunday, I'm not going to be able to come to any of these, so I do want to give a shout-out to a couple people. Uh, Ali y Grupo uh, Row is going to be performing Sunday at the Civic Park at 340, and we know that's Alfredo's granddaughter. And we know that, where's Alfredo performing? Uh, Grupo Fijo, where's Grupo Fijo? Uh, oh, Grupo Fijo will be at the Magic uh, Theater stage Sunday at 1040 from to 1130. Uh, they're going to be closing out that stage. Wow. Good. I wish I could stay, but it's, I got to work on Monday. Uh, let's see, Sunday, oh wait, JR, oh wow, I really wish I could stay there on, on Sunday, because on the Civic Park, David Farias is going to be performing at 640, and David was, I think was just on Lawrence's show also, and hoping to have uh, David uh, Farias on our show in the next couple months, and uh, uh, Roger Velasquez, a la and the Latin legends can be forming after David. Then Patsy Tortoise is going to perform at 840. And then J.R. Gomez and the Cajunto Bandits are going to perform at 940. And the Hometown Boys at 1040. Wow. That's going to be a good... St Sunday's got a nice little lineup there. Uh, let's see. Who else we got here? Uh, Cindy Ramos, uh, Isu Conjunto Bands can perform at 940 on the Mexican stage. Uh, I saw her at Vegas Tejano, and hopefully everybody's going to go to Vegas Tejano this year is the 20th, all right? And Art is going to perform on the Mexican stage, Art Tejarina again, at 540. Let's see, uh, who else do I know? Is... Beatrice E. Destino. Is that that girl that went viral that uh, sang mariachi at Mi Tierras a couple years ago? Uh, she's going to be performing at 640 on the Magic stage where uh, Gr uh, Alfredo Grupo Fijo is going to be performing. Uh, I know I'm going to see Alfredo at, the, at the, uh, the radio gala. I think he said he was going to go, and I think Ali's going to be there. Uh, Let's see. Uh, TDK, I haven't seen Isabel and Marie on on the schedule. Can someone please confirm? I saw on Bino's Facebook, Bino G's Facebook, that she is going to perform. And I think she said she was going to perform uh, at Lawrence's show last night. And I'm guessing it's going to – the only one I, – I looked also through the whole schedule for her name. And the only spot I could think of is be Thursday, because she'll probably close out this the this stage. Uh, I think there's a couple WT uh, C's there, so I don't know when she's going to be there. But I'm guessing it's going to be Thursday. Uh, so that is Sunday. So uh, let's see. Mart says call them options, buddy, not. Co
competition against going up against. Okay, you're right. There are options. There's lots of options. Thank you, Mart. All right, but uh, <clears throat> nobody's going to compete against Stephanie in my my eyes. So, or uh, options. There's no option when it comes to her. I'm going to go see her. All right, and uh, oh, oh, that's a different. Vehicle. Okay, I didn't know. Uh oh. I think I see Bino. Hey, Bino. Wait a second. Let me, uh, yeah, I got to set you up, Bino. Hold on a second. All right, everybody. Okay. Are you, are you good there? Okay. Hold on a second. All right. Let's see if I could do, whoops. Uh, it's good. I got to produce you a little bit. You know what? I'm going to do a dynamic scene. Let's see if I can get you there. Oops, let me get delete that one. Oops. Okay. I'm trying to remove this one. Uh, remove see. Okay. So let's say, hey Bino, how's it going? Doing well. How about yourself, buddy? Okay, okay. you're live now with us. Thanks. Uh let's see. Maybe you could confirm for me. Uh we were talking about uh, Isabel Marie. And she is sl slotted to play, perform? No, uh, they had to back out. They had a engagement that they have oh. totally have forgot about. So, yes, um, their apologies, but they will be at the awards this year. Okay. Well, great. Maybe I'll catch up with her. So, tell us. I was looking at these WT, uh, WTCs uh, on Thursday. So, who are you going to have on the civic stage on Thursday? After well, Nava. Uh, matter of fact, I don't have my schedule with me right now. I'm on the road. Um, I got all that put up. So okay. we're still waiting. We're waiting for confirmation still. So I have to wait until they confirm. So that's what we're waiting okay. on right now. So what, that's what it means. You're waiting to so, confirm on those. Yeah, so that's what I, we're waiting on right now. Okay. I didn't know it was going to be like last couple of days. Right. Yeah. yeah. Does that happen a lot? It does. does. It depends if they have. It depends if the band has a contract and you know they can't you know say anything until after their certain date they're, they're performing somewhere. So uh, that's pretty much what what we do. That sometimes, like some bands, you know, uh, if we put them on a Saturday, they might have a prior on a Friday. So we'll have yeah. to wait until they end their event and then start doing the publicity. Okay. Because we have another okay. similar situation like that on Saturday as well too on the Civic Center. So. Ah. Okay. Wow. So tell me, I, I know there's stuff still going on at market square, but so why did you guys move what? market square? Well, once everybody starts getting to San Antonio and passes by there, they'll see exactly why we made that move. Uh, it's still under construction. Oh, construction? Uh, we were told, okay. we were told that uh, it would be done at the end of February, which it's not. And we're glad that we made the decision we did. Um, so I know a lot of people are like, you know, being skeptical of what happened because they're still having the event there. But when you actually pass by there, you'll see exactly why. That's why. And I'll leave it at that Parking. because, like I said, I don't want to go too much further into it, but that's, it'll speak for itself. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Hey, uh, so what made you guys I, – I know you you did it – is uh, you moved to Hemisphere Park. Do you right. maybe plan to have it there on a continual basis maybe? Well, we're going to see how it happens this year. A lot of people have been asking for us to go to a bigger venue for many, many years. You know, it's just Market Square has always been home for fanfare for decades, you know. And then, of course, right. with the situation right now with the road construction and everything, we we had to do something. If not, you know, uh, it would have been very, very small scale. And like I say, again, once you pass by, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, Uh-oh. I think we lost Bino G. All right. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah. Sorry, somebody was oh, trying to call in. So it, might have, it might have froze up for a second. So yeah, somebody was trying to call in. Okay. I'm sorry. We thought we lost. I I know if you get if you gotta drop out, you gotta drop out because I know you're not driving, right? Someone else is driving. No, my brother. Is actually okay. Good. All right. Uh, we speak. So yeah, we just left the storage room. So we're picking up all the stuff for our office supplies, and that we'll put back in the office right now. Okay. So hey, yeah, uh, you know, today and then of course tomorrow we have production coming in to move in for the uh, stages and everything. So it's going to be a busy day tomorrow and of course Sunday. You know, it's the kickoff day at noon. But uh, yeah. you know, we're looking forward to the uh, adventure for all of us. I mean, we're learning as everybody else is learning about this 
this new place, you know. So a lot of people have been asking about the parking. I tell them the tree, just like yeah. Market Square, the earlier you get there to park, the better you're going to find something closer. You know, uh, okay. there is plenty of parking around that venue. Don't get me wrong. Uh, they even have a big garage there that you can park in. But like I said, the sooner the better. That way you make sure you have yeah. a secure place like to get parked around there. I, yeah, I'm not familiar with San Antonio that much as everybody else is. But isn't there a convention right. center real close by? Is, <laughs> is that what the parking lot you're additional the henry b right convention as a matter of fact the henry b is right there on the grounds as well so right uh, where civic park stage is at that's a matter of fact you're looking right at the henry b convention center okay in the background and so people can park so, over there too? yeah it, like i said it's a I big it's a big it's a big venue yeah it's a big venue man uh the stages are not even close to each other and that's what i like also uh you got more room to maneuver out there you have a a place for the kids to go out there and you know they got a big playground for the kids out there so it's oh, really wow, family oriented out there so yeah it's, it's very nice out there so uh if you've never been there, myself i've never been there until about two tuesdays ago for a walkthrough and okay uh oh very nice okay you kind of cut out right there whoops we lost you okay well hopefully you hopefully you'll be back all right. I think it, I don't know. I was going to, oh, wait, I think maybe he's coming back. I don't, well, maybe he might be back. All right. Well, we'll just keep it split screen for now and just see how it works. Uh, oh. Okay, maybe, okay. Well, one, hey, Bino, are you still there? You there? Check, yeah, I'm check. still here. One, two, one, two. Yeah. Okay. You I'm cut sure. off. You cut off a little bit. All right. Uh, one uh, actually, I lost. I, you. I, I think I lost you. I didn't see. I didn't see your face. I didn't see your face on the screen. I can still see mine, but I couldn't see yours. Okay. Well, I'm producing the show. I can see my face, but you know, what? sometimes that happens. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, right. I don't know. Hey, Mar TDK, is everything looking good? Well, hopefully, they'll say stuff in the chat. And okay. and by the way, if you have any questions for Bino, just uh, put them in the chat, and we'll and I'll ask them for you. Uh, uh, one of the things I, I wanted to talk about is. Uh, I saw somewhere, I can't remember exactly where I saw, but there's going to be an autograph session, a meet and greet lane. Is that, That's correct. We used that to have that several, yeah, we used to have that back several years ago. Uh, yeah. And the person who was in charge of that was John Zapata. They used to call him Zap from Zap, you know, entertainment. And then, of course, uh, okay. John became ill and he wasn't able to do it anymore. So we decided to go ahead and bring it back. And still call it the autograph session. And that's the way he built it up. And we wanted to keep it in his honor the same way. He's not passed away or anything, but we want to still keep it the same way he was doing it. So uh, we're going to have okay. artists out there starting at noon till 7 p.m. Uh, what it's all about is we will have like 12 tables where our artists will be individually set, selling merchandise, doing meet and greets, for, you know, taking pictures, all that good stuff. So it's, it's, it's really good for okay. the fans to go out there and check them out as well for the artists because they can actually get to talk to you and, uh, and, and meet the fans they don't get to see, you know, out in public because, of, you know, the, they're, for their own stage, they go backstage, you know, the fans, unless they come out and greet them, they, right. they don't get a chance to see them. So it's more on a personal level. So that's what I like about it. Okay. Well, uh, I think we talked to you, uh, Lawrence and I talked to you last year about maybe spot, uh, helping to do that, uh, do a, uh, uh, you know, an autograph session or, or co help coordinate that. But I guess right. uh, we didn't get – get any uh information on that but then i called you and i asked say hey we'd still like to help sponsor that uh, that uh autograph sessions and stuff and timing was off because uh, you gave me a phone number the guy that i called he said uh, let me talk to the group and, and then about a week or two later he said that uh, he wasn't allowed to talk to me about maybe sponsoring uh like that i was willing to drop a you know a thousand dollars uh, right. to help out uh, for and, and help schedule artists on there. But uh, maybe next year we could do something like that. Okay. Lawrence and I really wanted to. Yeah, you know, you know, as a matter of fact, yeah, because yeah, this was kind of last minute. So we went ahead and did in-house uh, promotion for it with our own staff to take care of it. But, uh, you know, we okay. want this thing to start growing back the way it was again. So, yeah, definitely, you know. Uh, oh, yeah. We'll talk more. You know, a lot of people have been asking me the same thing if they can get involved with it. So, yeah, you know, as we, we finish this year out uh, there at the, uh, the 2024 Town of Music Awards Fanfare, uh, we'll sit down and say, hey, you know, we want to make this thing even bigger. Maybe go to from 12 to 24 tables next year, you know. So, 
Okay. Yeah. Just that the, right Lawrence there in and... itself is a job. You know, it, it, it just. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's a yeah, it's I... it's a big job to handle. You know, I mean, there's a lot of moving parts to that. Oh, I'm not crying that you got uh, that I didn't get to do it, but uh, you know, I, I did want to be part of it, and uh, definitely for next year, see if uh, La- right. uh, Lawrence and I can be more involved in that early on during the thing. So uh, we would love to do right. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll sit down and talk okay. more about it. Definitely. Okay. I know you're gonna be busy during fanfare, so I know that's probably not the best time to get a hold of you. <laughs> right. Well, you know, if you catch me on the grounds, you know, make sure to pull me over, trip me or whatever, you know, so uh, I, I, it, it's busy, but you know, this, like I said, this year I'm, I'm going on to unfamiliar territory. I've never been here to do an event. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm gonna, we're all going to be learning at the same time about this, this venue. So yeah, I might be a little bit more busier than normal than, you know, Marcus Square. we've been there for so many years that, you know, I know that place right. inside out. And so I, I'm going to be, it's like I said, learning experience this year for me. Yeah. I mean, I used to be a, for this concert over here. The that's uh, in my background. Uh, the North Texas on the Music Festival back in the '90s. Uh, I used to help that put on that event, and uh, I was an expediter, right. so I was always a troubleshooter, also, and, and that pulls you right. everywhere like that. So oh, I, you're yeah. probably doing the same. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna put out that. fires everywhere. Like well, a, yeah. Now, so I hope, there, of, I hope there's not too many this year. So. <laughs> yeah. Well. We don't have to worry about fires because it looks like rain. Uh, uh, for yeah, we don't like the R word, uh, but yeah, it, you know, and that always threatens every. It, it threatens every year, uh, but you know, yeah. The thing is, um, like last year, apparently it's it was Texas. supposed to rain every day. Yeah, exactly, and it never rained until after yeah. the show was done. You know, so the good Lord loves well, Tejano and Kawanto music, so he keeps all that away from us during that time of the event. <laughs> well, I'll, so, I hope so, but I'm going to bring an umbrella and a poncho, and I, I suggest everybody to. You know, it's going to change every 20 minutes in Texas, so I, oh, I'm not definitely. it too much. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah but yeah, let's moving see. forward with it. Okay. okay, good. Yeah. Do you guys carry insurance just in case? Oh, definitely. All the You know, every event we have to have insurance for everything, so yeah. No, I meant like rain insurance. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, any outdoor oh, you concert, oh, okay. you got to make sure you have yourself covered on that because it's, it's a big expense. We didn't do that. Very big expense. Yeah. Yeah, that cuts in your profit big time because they, the insurance people, they want to say, okay, from what hours to what hours do you expect it to rain? And we'll only insure you during that time. Right. I don't know if there's a blanket one for you guys. Uh, yeah, I, I, North Texas? Yeah, the, the board actually deals with all that, so I'm not too familiar with the. Uh, with the, uh, you okay. know, what the numbers are for that or whatever, too. But I, I mean, I'm kind of familiar with it, but on a smaller scale, not as big as this event here. Yeah. Well, it eats up on your profit, so it's uh, right. But I guess just to cover your butts. Well, uh, yeah. Let's definitely. see. Let's let's see. Mart says park rules and regulations now can box uh, alcohol beverage will be honored during fanfare. No. So. Yeah, there's no outside food, drinks, or ice chest. So for those who have actually been to Market Square and had an ice chest or whatever, they've just been lucky they haven't been caught because the same rules yeah, applied no, no. over there. Yeah, the same rules applied over there. So, um, And we're still following the same rules over here as well. But the thing is over here on this park that, you know, the Sheriff's Department will be out there and a little bit more uh, watching all that as it comes through. Yeah. Everybody needs to leave their drinks and food at, at, at home and – just support the vendors and, and you guys with the alcohol and the waters and sodas and stuff. Cause it all goes to uh, helping the Tano industry. So, right. Yeah. And I mean, and that's what pays the bills, you know? Uh, so yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you gotta make the money somewhere to pay for everything. It's not all handed to us. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. And you've got some sponsors this year, some big sponsors. Uh, who, who are they? Let's hear sponsors. So our new sponsor, we have uh, the Hilton, which is right there by uh, Hemisphere. Uh, yeah. We've also yeah. brought back in Hermes Music, uh, Don Ramos Mexican Restaurant. Uh, we also have Hemisphere. They're actually, you know, the sponsor there for us as well, too. So, and of course, Modelo. Modelo's been with us for the last several years. So that's your main sponsors for this year. Yeah, I'll have a couple of those. <laughs> There you go. All right. Let's, <laughs> all right. I'll get you one too. Uh, 
There you Let's go. See, uh, we'll take pictures because they well, want to take pictures this year of everybody drinking Modelo. So, yeah, make sure we'll be out there uh, taking pictures of everybody drinking and having a good time. But matter, matter of fact, you just always remember to drink responsibly. Exactly. All right. And get a designated driver. All right. Uh, TDK said, will there be uh, a hot Tejano stage and a BNT stage? Are those uh, are they going to be sponsoring those stages? We have uh, the hot Tejano, of course. Yes. And then so it's uh, we have the civic stage. Uh, Signal is actually uh, a part of that stage for all four days. Uh, and then, of course, we have the hot Tejano stage with the Mexican stage. It's Mexican Wait, council. Did you say, stage, we just called, did you say Signal? Signal's going to be forming all four days? No, they're, they're going to be a part of it all four days. In other words, they're doing the uh, production for the Civic Park stage. Signal. So Friday so Friday, pretty much is there. Yeah, Friday is pretty much uh, all theirs uh, for performances. Okay. Yeah. But no, they're not performing all four days. It's going to be just Friday only. But they'll be out there, you know, uh, meeting, greets, and all that kind of stuff that we have set up for them. And they'll have a booth. Uh, they'll have all their merch out there all four days, so make sure to go out there and go check out awesome. Signo, Jennifer, and all the crew out there all four days. Okay, cool. Now, for the uh, the meet and greet and the autograph sessions, are there is there going to be like a schedule posted, like so-and-so is going to be here at this time? or, or there, You like know what? It, it should have been up to date. Yeah, it should have been up to date. So let me double check and make sure that the, the webmaster actually okay. put that it's, up for us. Yeah, so yeah, there should be oh, one wow. already. I didn't see that. Didn't see and if not, then I'll, I'll make sure to get with them in the morning and make sure it's put up by Thursday. Okay, good. Well, see if you can do it by Wednesday so I can plan <laughs> the, plan my events and stuff like that. Like, uh, like I'm not going to miss Stephanie, that's for sure. I, I'm right. I'm going to definitely see that. Okay. You know, she she's my number one. Okay. Let's see. Uh, TDK said, are there going to be uh, to keep fanfare? Ahead? Okay. We don't know. I guess you're. I already asked that question, so uh, you're going to determine that this year, right? For next Correct. year. Correct. Yeah, we'll okay. determine what happens this year. Like I said, it's it's been a big, uh, big, 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 big response from the people that they wanted us to move this event. I mean, we've been offered Houston, Hawaii, different spots, but like I said, you know. DFW. Uh, <laughs> but you know, we've always been, you know, Market Square. Market Square has always been home for fanfare for decades. So. You know, actually moving away, it, it's you know, it's 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 sad that we had to, but for the reason of the construction and everything, we we had to move, take this move and go and go elsewhere this year. So hopefully they'll have all that finished remember, next year. And like I said, we'll see what happens. Okay, I remember one year it had uh, there was a fanfare in Fort Worth back in the nineties. Uh huh. I don't know if you did two different ones, but it was a big one. Uh, right. I wasn't before. with them back then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's before but me. For those people who want to see it, if they want to see it, go to itstahunotime.com and you'll see the show that I produced for the for Fanfare during that year. Uh, I think it was 97 that they had it there. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, Mart, Mart said the Mexican stage is hot, the uh, Tejano stage, and the That's Magic correct. is BNT stage. So, no, so uh, BNET, okay. uh, BNET's going to be Tower of Reach. We just made a, uh, a change. And then okay, Tower of Reach is going to be there. Yes, and then uh, Extreme Tejano is going to be over there at the Magic Stage. Magic Theater Stage. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, TDK said, thanks. Uh, Bino needs to hire you about the other two stages. Yeah. Hey, actually, <laughs> Mart is... Uh, uh, I took. I had the. Uh, I don't know. Have you met Mart? Fabula. Whoops. Been already gone. Okay. Well, Mart is part of. Uh, it's Tahano time, and so I'm gonna. Hopefully, we'll get him uh, more involved into Tahano talk and it's Tahano time. So he's gonna help me out or out there, hopefully. But he gets there on Friday, I think. Right. I think Mart's gonna be there on Friday. Uh. So Mart's uh going to be part whoops oh i guess we lost bino okay uh hopefully we'll get him back well you know what it's almost time for the end of the show so uh any other questions uh you got out there people whoops let me go back to the uh let's see you know me i like to have my lower one thirds on there uh so anybody else got anything else to say uh 
I think we covered my favorites. Oh, wow. De- I think I said Destiny and Asalto. I was just looking at Thursday's show. So, unfortunately, I guess we got the answer that Isabel Marie is not going to be, be able to perform for Fanfare this year. But uh, she was there the past two years, so I did enjoy those times. And uh, I do need to edit a show and make it Isabel Marie. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's say, Ricky, don't forget to bring my credentials. Uh, TDK, I don't think anybody's going to deny you getting in anywhere. You're everywhere. And all you have to do is uh, just signal to some artist on stage and say, come here, DDK, get on stage. Okay? But if you were on our show as a guest, you definitely probably would be good to go. But it's too late. I gave you a chance earlier to be on the show, but uh, oh well. Okay. Uh, I think uh, this is the wrap for the show. Bino G did get here, so I'm glad he answered some of the questions. What I am looking forward to is the autograph sessions. So, everybody, I think he said, uh, someone remind me if he said uh, from noon to seven, or did he say five to seven? I can't remember. Every day. So, <coughs> so get there early, check out the booths, and uh, go to tahanamusicawards.com and you. Hopefully, he said he's going to talk to the, the web guy. I did not see. Let me check one more time. Uh, fanfare. Whoops. Uh, let me check one more time before we go. Fanfare. Track artist sign up. No. Fan schedule. Mm. Fanfare tracks. I don't know what this is. Oh, I didn't even notice this. I guess uh, there are going to be some artists on tracks. Let's see if I I don't know who a lot of these are. Oh, Hilda Lamas is going to be there on Saturday. Uh, She's going to be on a track at 325. I do know her. Liz Garcia is another option. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Before me, the same time Hilda is at uh, the Mexican stage. And... uh, Let's see. I think I've heard of Veronica Lopez before. Oh, Liz Garcia is going to be on another stage. Uh, wait. Okay. <laughs> Liz is on two different stages at the same time, so I don't know if that's going to work out for her. Uh, Alicia C. is going to be performing on Sunday. Uh, she'll be on track. Oh, she's performing twice. Wow, there, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, People out there. Veronica Lopez is performing again. Uh, Maritza Gomez, uh, Victoria Allen. You know what? I think this is the decade of the whim- Tejano women because they're they're performing a lot, and which I don't mind because I kind of prefer listening to the the female singers. Always have, you know, Stephanie. All right, and uh, Jennifer, I'm looking forward to seeing you on stage. Uh, all right. It's ten. It's seven fifty-five. Uh, remember, I've got stickers out there, so hopefully, if I see you out there, I'll give you a sticker and just say it's always to hundred time. All right, that's how I used to end my show, and my future shows, and my emails. All right, I'm your host Oraldo for it's to hundred time. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let me finish up these. Uh, let's see. Oh, I already did that one. Luis, what did you say? Is your new guest Monica Salivar next week? Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's not. If you want to know who's going to be next year, next week, it's going to be Ali y Grupo Rio. I think uh, Ali and I uh, uh, can't remember the guy's name. Is, is the kid uh, gonna, that has the accordion. It's gonna, no, I'm not going to try to remember his name because I don't want to butcher it. Uh, TDK, thanks for laughing at me. I always enjoy you laughing. All right, Mart says, see you all this weekend. Great. Um, I want a T-shirt and a cap. Well, TDK, if you become a guest, I will give you a T-shirt, okay? No, wait. I think I will give you a cap, all right? But, uh, because I don't have any. I have a few extra. Well, 
it's going to be an already worn cap like that. So, uh, cause I only have caps for me. And so I have, I, I think I have four of these. I'll give you one of these, not during a uh, fanfare though. You're not going to get it during fanfare. All right. So DK, you got to work for it. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Thanks. And again, my, I'm Oraldo for It's Tejano Time, and you've been listening and watching Tejano Talk. All right. Everybody go out to Fanfare this weekend. Don't forget Vegas Tejano also. Uh, bring a raincoat. Pray for no rain or a little bit of rain. Only in the morning. Let it rain in the morning or late at night. Okay? But, uh, whoops. TDK. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's all get out there, have a, a good time, drink responsibility, support the TMA. Don't bring your coolers or picnic baskets or, or food. It's free. It's going to be an awesome event. Every day has got great artists on there. You need to support Tahana Music and drink their drinks. And uh, you can buy me a beer. I don't know. All right. And uh, eat their food, okay, because the vendors are paying all paying and you need they're supporting tma also all right and autograph session i'm looking for forward to the meet and greet lane all right i think he said bino said there's going to be 12 uh tables out there and every day there's going to be uh autograph session so and signal is going to be autographing i think he said every day also out there so uh everybody support it go out there have a lot of fun and eat and drink responsibility okay as Nemo would say, get fat. <laughs> All right. I'll see you next week. Bye.